Hi guys, so let's now take a look at the advantages or the benefits and the limitations of cash flow forecasting. Right, it's a really useful tool overall, okay, and there's numerous advantages, but there are of course limitations to actually conducting a cash flow forecast. Let's take a look. Right, so first up, it obviously encourages business planning. It encourages people to actually think about the future and think about periods where there may be shortfalls of cash and what can be done about that. Okay, so it means further to this that on an Excel or a Sheets uh, spreadsheet, you can actually track uh, the progress against your forecast and see how accurate your forecasting actually is. And so it means you can monitor and track your cash flow and you can take necessary corrective steps if you need to. Okay, in addition, we can also see that it's used as part of the business planning process, so it can be used to actually uh, support a business plan application and possibly even to get uh, loan funding from a bank. Okay, so that could be useful. You could also take a cash flow and consider a uh, optimistic scenario, a pessimistic and a more realistic uh, perspective on your cash flow forecasts. It also will identify problem periods for the business and that then mean that uh, then may mean that the business can take those necessary corrective steps to really think about reducing staffing if they're a more seasonal business and they have a fall in demand after the peak summer period or, or so on. Okay, So it means you can actually think about what other steps may be taken when things quieten down or get busier alternatively. Okay. It's only a forecast, of course, though. Um, so that is the major limitation. It's only a forecast. As such, it will not consider external influences. So for instance, if exchange rates uh, fall, as they did after uh, the uh, Brexit vote, for instance, uh, that may suddenly mean that all of your imported goods, the inputs that you need from abroad, have become more expensive. So it does have limitations there. Um, and you can't plan for such unforeseen events, okay? You can't necessarily plan well for a piece of machinery just collapsing and breaking down, okay? Or an IT failure and so on, all right? Uh, and further to this, it is going to take uh, time to actually construct a cash flow forecast uh, and do it properly and really do it justice. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks a lot.